Um, very quickly, I was just going to go over um, just a little reminder um, of how to blend out a slightly longer word, okay? So if we take the word stump, which should be one of the words in your spelling patterns this week, um, what we do is we segment it up. So instead of putting it all together, we break the word up so that it helps us write it, okay? So let's think of the word stump. And we break that up into three pieces. We've got the st, a, m, p. Okay, so what you need to do is just sound out the different parts. So I've just said the first part is a st, st. Okay, and that's the first blend in that word. So st is made up of a s and a t. So that's the beginning of our word. That's the first part. So st, a, m, p. So what do you think comes after the st? Sound we've got st a and to finish off the word stamp st a m p m p. Now, can you have a little think and try and remember what makes that m p sound? And it's made up of two letters m and p. So we've got our st a m p and we can blend that all together stump okay and the reason we've got a little line under these two sounds and these two sounds is that those are blended together in the word so they, those are our blend sounds so we've got st a m p okay so let's try one more um blend word a little bit like that so another one on your list today is blast so blast okay so we'll do the same thing we'll Chunk it up, segment it up, and see what we can hear in it. So, bl, ast, bl. So, if you have a little think and try and hear what sounds make up that beginning blend, bl. So, we've got a b and a o. Okay. So, bl, ast. So, what's that sound in the middle? Bl, ast. It's a Ah sound and bl a st. So at the end, the blend we're going to have is st. The same blend that we had at the beginning of this word, we're going to have at the end. Okay, so bl a st. Okay, so let's make sure when we blend it all together that, that makes sense. Bl a st blast. Okay, so hopefully that is a helpful wee reminder of just what we mean by our blend sounds, sounds that become come at the beginning or at the end, and it's two letters that are sort of blended together and help us spell longer words.